What's up, Damien? Birdie hunting. Uh -huh. We birdie hunting. Hey <laughs> right, guys, I won't keep you long. Uh, we appreciate you being out here. Um, just real quickly on athletics, we're going through summer workouts right now. And football, 6th through 12th grade, we're averaging 55 kids. Uh, female workouts, we're averaging 70 girls. And then non-football males, we're averaging 30. So the numbers are up. And the concept is obviously to keep them and keep them out and to rebuild this thing. So um, we're working on that. Uh, I want you guys to keep in mind that this is kind of like eating a dinosaur. We got to do it one bite at a time. Uh, but the process is in place. There's a plan in place. And we'll be ready to roll. There's a famous man right here. <laughs> got to look intently right here. Like we're really focused on that Having fun, raising funds for some students. This is our fourth annual B.B. Comer Alumni Golf Tournament and uh, the purpose of this, this fundraiser today is that we give back scholarships to both Sylacauga High School and B.B. Comer students. In the last two years we've given away over $7,000 to about eight or nine different uh, students at both schools. So that's the purpose of today's golf tournament. Yes, we lost uh, a good friend of ours, uh, Sammy Blocker. Sammy played on the 1968 B.B. Comer uh, High School Championship. They won the, the state championship that year, and we lost Sammy this past year, and we're dedicating this tournament today to Sammy and his family. And we also want to remember Tommy Goose Reynolds. We lost Tommy, called him Goose. Uh, we've lost him this past year or so, and uh, we're honoring both of those great guys, great ball players, great athletes, and dedicated to B.B. Comer High School. Randy, B.B. Uh, Comer has a long story tradition, especially in football, but in both baseball and other sports. But just talk about what it means to be a B.B. Comer Tiger, but also talk about the, the Alumni Association and how important it is to, to keep this group of uh, Tigers together. Five years ago, a group of us got together and we were just going to have a little tailgate party at a Sylacauga Comer uh, football game on Friday night. So we got together as uh, 40 or 50 of us and then once we met, we're going to get tents, we're going to cook out and just have a little tailgate. But it turned into a business meeting and some wanted to elect officers. And what that caught us off guard to put ourselves together and organize ourselves. So we elected officers that day, which that was not the reason we met. We were going to have a big party. But it turned into where uh, I got elected uh, the president of the B.B. Comer alumni, and Beatty is the vice president, and Mike Sawyer, Mike Sawyer over here, uh, he's our secretary that keeps up with uh, uh, the money and, and all that we take in. And so for us, it's dedication to the school, and we wanted to give back. So this being our fourth tournament, the first tournament we had, we raised nine thousand dollars and we gave it to the athletic department because they needed a lot of a lot of stuff over there. We built uh, lockers for the football team. We've given money back to the baseball team for uniforms. Uh, we've given just given it to the athletic department so they could use it wherever it was needed. And then we decided uh, two years ago that we should give back in scholarships for academics. So I get with both schools, uh, the counselors at both schools, and they have they spread that through the, the school to the students to apply. Then we take those applications and we go through them. And the biggest thing is for need. A lot of the families here they got smart, good kids, and we want to be able to give back to them to help them further their education. 
And Randy, I mean, Silicaga is, is such a close knit community. Uh, I mean, it's your typical small town Alabama. How important is it to, to keep these friendships alive that probably go back 40 and 50 years? And they do. You got a great point because I grew up from kindergarten through the ninth grade through the Silicaga school system and ended up at Comer in my 10th, 11th, 12th grade. So I've got great close friends on both sides of the track. And if the Silicaga Aggies have been so supportive for all the events. We've had concerts. We've had we've had uh, Troy Jones play. We've had Tommy Brown play for concerts. We had Mike Shell, original uh, that he went to Comer and Silicaga. His band has been together for 50 years, and we have both Silicaga and Comer. Uh, alumni come and support us. It's very important. We're a close-knit community. We're small, you know, small town, but uh, we have built relationships that will last a lifetime, and they're helping us, and we give back through events like this. It's very important to us to make sure we appreciate everybody that's here. I'm here with John Causey and Damian Jeffries. Guys, uh, welcome back home here in Silicon. Just, just talk about what you're doing out here today. Hey, we out here having a good time. We're going to raise some money for the uh, BB Coma football program, uh, the athletic program, and uh, it's going to go out here and try to make some birdies. John, what, you know, you know, you guys playing in Alabama and, and being well known, uh, what is it like to be from Silicaga but to be able to, to play at, at such a prestige university? Well, I'm not from Silicaga, but I have family here. A lot of my family was raised here. This is family here too. That's so, right. That's right. Uh, anytime we come back and support a, a high school, it's about high school sports. And uh, the reason we're standing here is because we had a good high school program to play in. And uh, anytime we come back and do that, it's, it's always a, a blessing for those kids that, that are coming behind us. Now, how, you know, was, I was talking to Mr. Kane a minute ago about, you know, alumni groups being a family and being, and being from a small town and being a family. Alabama is a very small family. Can you talk about, you know, the relationships you've built over the years, but how close you still stay with a lot of your fellow teammates? Well, just a few minutes ago, Damon and I was going to get a golf cart, and I told him, I said, whether it's been two years, five years, or 20 years, when you see that guy that you played with, when I saw Damon Jeffries, I hugged him like, he, like I saw him yesterday. That's right. And it's, it's truly his family. If Damon Jeffries called me at 2 o'clock in the morning and said he needed help changing the tire, I'd drop what I was doing and go do it. And that's the great thing about it, man. It's, uh, it's a great game, but it's about the people. So what is uh, what is the Tide going to do this year? See what Kick they, ass. <laughs> about what they've been Plain doing. Simple. Yeah, Plain exactly. Simple. Now, Nick Saban is a heck of a coach, and we're lucky to have him. And he always has his guys ready to play, so I'm expecting big things. Undefeated back-to-back -back is what I want. That's what they've been doing, so it <laughs> don't stop now. Yeah. Thank you, guys. All yes, right. sir. At both schools, and we want to thank you. This is where the funds go to. And we also help the athletic department. And we just want to make sure you're being here and thank the good Lord for this beautiful hot weather. So I'm going to give it to